This is a quick video about why I've closed the WP Tuts Academy and what that actually means to you if you purchased a membership or you purchase a course via the Academy. First of all, let me just allay any fears. It hasn't closed everything down. We've simply closed the circle platform down and I'll explain why in a moment. I moved everything over now to the WPTETSCommunity.com. I will redirect the WPTETS Academy over once that's all in place. But if you've already purchased a subscription, that will still be active. You will still have access to all of the same things you had access to before. If for any reason you don't have a login details, send me an email and I will sort all that out for you. I've got a list of all the people that are paying members, subscription dates, and all those kinds of good things. The other cool thing is that anybody that has a subscription, moving over to the community, you will have 12 months subscription from this point on, whether you have one day left, six months left, or whatever. So anybody that has purchased one very recently, you'll carry on with no difference. Anyone that purchased it previously, you'll have an extended period of time on there, just as a thank you all automated renewals will no longer take place. So you won't be billed in 12 months time. If you decide you want to continue on with the community, which hopefully you feel that you want to, you can take out a new subscription. But right now, once that has ended, it is ended, but you'll still have full access for the duration. Okay, so I wanted to get that out of the way just to allay any fears. Secondly, I'm not opening up the platform for new subscribers right now. I want to make sure that everything is in place the way I want it to be. So any free courses will still be available. Any new premium courses you can purchase and have access to those for the lifetime of the course. No difference whatsoever there. And anybody that has a running subscription for that period of time will also get access to those premium courses exactly the same as you would have done inside the previous academy. So don't worry, you're going to have access to everything you had access to. There's been no changes to you other than the fact you'll probably get a little bit longer on your subscription with no additional cost at all. Now, let me just quickly say why I've closed the academy and moved everything over to the community. Sorry if this kind of gets a bit confusing. Just join up to the community. It's easier. First of all, Circle is a good platform. It has been good and it was good to test things out on there. But the reality of it is the cost implications to that actual platform. For example, I was on the $99 plan per month. And with that, you get access to the community, but you're restricted on storage. You get restricted to sending emails out. You have no automations. You can't connect up to any external services like Fluent CRM and so on. So it meant that anything I wanted to do would either mean increasing the monthly charge or going up to the next plan, which over doubles the plan. Now, I was talking to Jeffrey from Lightbox last week, and he's also a Circle community user. And one of the things that he's found very recently is that they have now changed the way in which they handle the transcoding of videos you upload for your courses and things. That now goes against your kind of usage and therefore can very quickly get incredibly expensive. You can offload to platforms like Bunny CDN, but that's a lot of retrospective work if you already have courses, and that's how you use the Circle community. So again, another one of those things that just kind of feels like they just want a nickel and dime you to get as much money out of you as is physically possible. So there's a lot of different reasons why I wanted to move away. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, the platform itself has a lot of positives. The cost, though, can get quite expensive. And if you're not running a particularly massive community with lots of paying customers, it can very quickly mount up to do what I would consider to be basic things like sending emails out, updating people when new courses are available, which means that because I couldn't connect those up via a webhook to what I use, which is Fluent CRM, I kind of end up having to juggle things around. Wasn't very, very good. Wasn't the best way of working. So I've been keeping an eye on Fluent Community since the beta release of that, where I tested it out. Thankfully, they gave me access to this early. And when it was initially rolled out roughly about 12 months ago now, it was good, but it still had a lot of things missing for what I wanted to use it for. However, over the last couple of months, I've been slowly transitioning over into it as those new features have rolled out, and it's made it much more comparable to the Circle platform that I was using. There are a couple of things missing, and these are things that I'm going to have to find a way around, and that is the ability to have live streams inside the community and have maybe cohorts where you have multiple people involved in that cohort, all taking time to be able to speak and so on. I'm looking at different alternatives to have that 
that kind of thing set up. So once that is kind of smoothed out, got the way I wanted to be, I might introduce that back into the community. But for now, that's not going to be there. We'll still have live streams, they just won't be integrated into the community directly. The key thing for me though, was having control over what I want to do inside my platform. If I want to add extra features in, I can do that. If I want to automate features, if I want to pull people into my CRM, which obviously I want to, to be able to keep people up to date and have one centralized location for all of those details. Then I can send emails out when new courses come out. I can update you when new modules are released or there's discounts or savings or anything like that whatsoever. That's all integrated into what I use every single day to run my kind of email marketing side of things. So the integration there just makes so much more sense. FluentCart, which recently rolled out as well, it's integrated in. So it makes the whole setting up of subscriptions, handling course payments and those kinds of things all integrated in. So you, as a potentially paying subscriber or potentially purchasing a course, you will see nothing different. Everything will be smoothly integrated into the platform. But from my point of view, I've got more control on the back end side of things, which again, like I say, just makes the whole process a lot easier for me as I need to make changes, as new things come on board. I don't wanna have to look at up, sort of increasing the price that I pay every single month to get into the hundreds of dollars. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. But what does this mean for the community moving forward? Only good things. I'm already planning some free mini courses as well as some paid mini courses, which like I say, free ones, anyone can access them. You can become a member of the community. You can get access to those courses and you can use them as you want to. Paying courses, I'm gonna concentrate at this point in time on mini courses because the fact is things are changing so fast at this point in time with AI and web design and freelancing and agencies and so on that to dedicate time to creating big courses doesn't make a lot of sense because they could very quickly become obsolete and therefore a lot of time and effort on my side of things, potentially people paying for courses that they have no use for because there's a lot easier ways of doing things in the, the near future. So mini courses is the direction I'll be going in right now. Once the landscape settles down, we may look at changing that in the future. But for right now, mini courses gives access to quick bite size hour, hour and a half courses that cover specific topics or specific tools. I like that kind of sort of format. It means I can roll these out a lot quicker and give access and value inside the community a lot quicker. We've also opened up a new section inside the community and that's the business talk. So if you've got anything to do with your business, whether you're looking to set up as a freelancer or a small agency, you have things, questions, burning questions, you've got wins that you want to share, that's what business talk is all about. So you can share your wins, talk about your problems and issues and share solutions with other like-minded individuals in the community. Again, all these things are absolutely free. The link is down below, it's just wptutscommunity.com. You can join up, become part of the community. The only thing I say is it's not really geared towards lurkers. If all you want to do is lurk around you, to be honest, it's probably not the community for you. I want people to be actively involved in the community, adding value, asking questions, providing help and support. That way, as a community, we all benefit from a wealth of knowledge. And so far, I've got some incredibly knowledgeable people in various different aspects of WordPress, web design, coding, and so on, all getting involved and adding extreme amounts of value to the whole community. If that kind of registers with you, why not join up and become part of that community and get involved and share your skills and knowledge, ask questions, and any of those burning problems you may have, maybe there's a solution inside the community. As always though, all applicable links are down below. Hopefully this has told you why I've moved things over and laid any fears you may have that any prices you've paid will suddenly whipped away from underneath your feet. You'll still have access to everything you paid for. No changes there whatsoever. Anyway, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.